What happens when a city of 21 million people shuts off the water? I was worried because we weren't prepared for this. Jose Luis, a resident of Mexico City, says he still has running water, but he's been storing as much as he can just in case the faucets run dry. We need to take notice. Water should be protected. It's of utmost importance. A few blocks away, Dante Mejia, a restaurant owner, says he's been stocking up too, even though the water never stopped running. He says the media warnings of a mass water shutoff have been blown out of proportion and have even ended up hurting his business. We purchased water jugs, we stored our water, and fortunately we didn't have any trouble. But I think the problem has been exaggerated. Many people are not going to restaurants because they heard the news there was no water. Faced with crumbling water infrastructure, Mexico City's water management agency, Conagua, has been working on repairs to the city's water systems. An estimated 40% of the city's potable water is believed to be lost through leaky pipes. This is an important project and the people have taken notice. As a precautionary measure, the local government set up cisterns in strategic parts of the city and deployed water tankers in the event of an emergency. This point in central Mexico City serves as a water extraction source. The water is taken directly from the ground to fill those tanker trucks. From here, it's sent to areas that are designated as vulnerable, such as hospitals or nursing homes. Officials warn that as many as three million of the city's residents could be left without water when the repairs began. Preparations by city officials and residents, however, were enough to prevent a water emergency. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.